Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get fly hacks in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So first you're going to want to open up Cheat Engine in Minecraft. Attach Cheat Engine to Minecraft. So open Minecraft and Cheat Engine. Okay, Minecraft.windows.exe and make sure it actually says that at the top. Okay, so we're going to want to do a byte scan for the fly value. So you're going to want to be in creative mode and start flying and scan for a value of 1. And stop flying and scan for a value of 0. And just keep doing this. You can also use hotkeys to go increased and decreased. Which is faster. And then you can scan unchanged. And here we have it narrowed down to a few variables. And then we can just take the ones that read 1 over here. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is find out which one of these is the actual fly value. So if I check this box and see if I can fly. So I can still fly, so it's not this one. I can delete it. Now we're going to try this one. Can it fly? Yes, I can still fly, so it's not this one. I'm going to delete it. And now I'm going to freeze this one. And if I can still fly... So I can't still fly, so that means this is the one. That's the fly value. So here we're gonna go into survival mode. And then come here, right click it, and see what accesses this address. And there's gonna be a lot of stuff that accesses it. So here we're gonna wanna go to creative mode. And then, so this one was counting up before and stopped counting up as soon as we went into creative mode. So this, if we show in this assembler, this is the thing that is checking if we are uh, not in creative mode. If we're not in creative mode, then it doesn't let us fly. So what we do is we just knock that out and like let it just not work. So we disable it, basically. And if we do that, uh, if we go into survival, we will still be able to fly with uh, double tapping the spacebar. So here we're going to want to count how many of these, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 of these, so we're going to restore it, and now we're going to do an auto script. So auto assemble, and do an AOB injection. That stands for array of bytes, by the way. And then what we're going to want to do here is um, change this to db, and then change it to the amount of uh, knobs that you counted while this was inactive. So we, uh, I counted 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then just assign that to the table. And uh, you can close this. I'm going to name this Fly. So while this is enabled, you will be able to fly in survival. Uh, if you disable it, you will no longer be able to fly. And yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.